Hello and welcome. My latest video on my top thousand countdown adds a further ten fighters into my top thousand fighters of all time. Uh, the numbers I'm going down on this video are 880. I'm going down to 871. So I will unveil who these ten fighters are. Uh, I am currently at work on video 680 to 671, so it shows how far I'm ahead. Okay, but I like to do that, so eventually the videos are finished and I can just upload them. So, fighter number 880, okay, is a former lower weight world champion, Luis Lazate. Luis Lazate beat two world champions. Um, he had a total of 10 fights against world champions overall. And Lazate fought just over 100 rounds um, against champions coming in at 102. Now, he beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He also had um, zero fights against Hall of Famers and fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. And Luis Lazarte, okay, had eight world title fights. He did make two title defences and he fought a total of 82 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Lazarte beat no pound for pound rated fighters. He did have one fight against a pound for pound rated fighter. Um, and against rated fighters, um, champions, Hall of Famous Luis Lazarte came in with a total of 10. So at least he hit double figures that, like I've said before, many fighters down at this level don't even hit double figures. Uh, but on the videos I'm doing now, that is changing. Virtually most of them are now in double figures. And they'll get even bigger um, as they go along. So there's fighter number 880. Okay, let us go on to fighter number 879. He could throw some really smooth punches, but a very good fighter, okay, he is Antonio Esparagosa. Now, Antonio Esparagosa beat one world champion in his career. He had a total of four fights against world champions and fought a total of 46 rounds against them. Now, Esparagosa, okay, beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had no fights against Hall of Famers and fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, okay, um, Esparagosa had nine world title fights in total. Um, he also comes in having made seven title defences in his career and he fought a total of 87 title fight rounds, so just under um, 10 rounds apiece for his title fights. And he did beat one pound-for-pound -pound rated fighter, Esparagosa. Um, he had a total of two fights against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters. And his total, okay, against rated fighters champions or Hall of Famers, Antonio Esparagosa comes in with a total of nine. Now, Esparagosa did not have a huge career. He had a, you know, quite a short career, really, compared to many fighters um, in my top thousand, except some of the young pups on their way up. But he didn't have a huge career, um, so he didn't do too badly at all, really, to have nearly 10 fights against rated fighters, champions, etc., and nearly 10 world title fights. So, Antonio Esparagosa is fighter number 879. Let us now go on to fighter number 878. Um, and it is former world champion Raul Marquez. Raul Marquez beat two world champions himself um, and he had seven fights against world champions. Now, Raul Marquez fought a total of 66 rounds against champions throughout his career. And against Hall of Fame fighters, okay, Raul Marquez beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had no fights against Hall of Famers, and thus Raul Marquez also fought no rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Raul Marquez had six world title fights. Um, he did make two title defences, and Marquez fought a total of 50 title fight rounds. Now, against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters, Raul Marquez beat one pound-for-pound -pound rated fighter. He had a total of four fights against pound-for-pounders. Um, and against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Fame fighters, uh, Raul Marquez comes in with a total of eight overall. So, Raul Marquez is fighting number three. I'll have a quick drink before we go to fighting number four on this countdown. So... Fighter number 878. So we've had, um, you know, Esparagosa followed by Raul Marquez. So let us now jump on to fighter number 877. Um, and he is a former super middleweight champion who gave Joe Calzaghe a good fight. Calzaghe won well, but he showed his durability. He's won Charles the Hatchet Brewer. Charles Brewer beat no world champions. He had a total of three fights against world champions. And Charles Brewer fought 36 rounds against champions overall. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, okay, Charles Brewer beat no Hall of Famers. Uh, but as outlined already by me on this video, he did have one fight against a Hall of Famer. 
Um, Joe Calzaghe and fought 12 rounds against him. Now, in world title fights, okay, some people may not realize Charles Brewer had quite a few world title fights. He came in with seven world title fights, and some people don't even know that he made a small number of title defenses, okay, making three title defenses. Uh, Charles Brewer comes in having fought a tally of 66 um, title fight rounds and against pound for pound rated fighters okay Charles Brewer beat no pound for pound rated fighters he did have one fight against a pound for pound rated fighter um, and Charles Brewer had seven um, fights overall um, in his career against rated fighters champions or hall of famers so Charles Brewer on his day could be a very tough opponent you know, he's not an all-time great or a great fighter, but a legitimate world champion. He made a number of defences and could be a handful on his day, um, you know, if he was at his best. So, Charles Brewer's 877. Let's go to fighter number 876. It's current active fighter, and he's going to be tested later this year. It is Gilberto Ramirez, the former super middleweight champion. Gilberto Ramirez waiting for that Dimitri Bivol fight. Uh, he's currently beating one world champion. Um, Ramirez has had one fight against a world champion and fought 12 rounds against against champions now Gilberto Ramirez has beaten no Hall of Fame fighters um, he's had no fights against Hall of Famers um, and thus far zero rounds against Hall of Famers and Gilberto Ramirez so far in his career has had six world title fights he has made five title defenses and fought a total of 66 title fight rounds now, against pound for pound rated fighters, Gilberto Ramirez has beaten one pound for pound rated fighter. Um, he's had one fight against a pound for pounder. And against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Gilberto Ramirez has only had five fights. This guy's had over 40 professional fights. He's about to fight another one um, in that criteria, i.e., Dimitri Bivol, and that should be a very good fight. It's also a hard fight. Um, you know, for Gilberto Ramirez to win in my book, but it also may be a tough defence for Dimitri Bivol, which is good. Bivol and Ramirez both get a good name on their resume, vice versa. So Gilberto Ramirez is 876. Where he goes over coming years as his ratings grow, we will have to see. Meanwhile, fighter number 875 is former cruiserweight champion Marcelo Dominguez. Marcelo Dominguez, okay, beat a one world champion. He had seven fights against world champions overall. And Marcelo Dominguez comes in with a total of 69 rounds fought against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Marcelo Dominguez beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He also had zero fights against Hall of Famers overall anyway, and thus fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. But Marcelo Dominguez did have seven world title fights, okay? He did make two title defences, um, and Dominguez fought a total of 78 title fight rounds. Now, against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Marcelo Dominguez beat no pound for pound rated fighters, and he had no fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Uh, Marcelo Dominguez also, um, in fights against rated fighters, um, champions or Hall of Famers, had a total of nine fights. So, Marcelo Dominguez, their former cruiserweight champion, comes in 875. I'll just have a quick drink before I go to another. Well, former cruiserweight champion, but current fighter in 874. And he has now pipped former cruiserweight champion Marcelo Dominguez. And we'll see what fighter number 874, who is Mary Spradis, can do going forward. Can he reclaim a title? Will he retire? Who knows? But Mary Spradis at the moment, okay, has beaten four world champions. He's had a total of six fights against world champions. And Bradis comes in with a total of 56 rounds for against them. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Mary Spradis has beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He's also had zero fights against Hall of Famers and fought zero rounds against Hall of Famers. And Mary Spradis has had a total of seven world title fights. He has made two title defences. Um, and Mary Spradis comes in having fought a total of 64 title fight rounds. So Mary Spradis, okay, we'll see after um, losing... Um, his title recently, we'll see what he can do. At the moment, he's had he's beat one pound for pound rated fighter, sorry, and Bradis has had two fights against pound for pounders. Um, and Meris Bradis has had a total of seven fights overall against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Fame fighters. So Meris Bradis comes in 874, and like recent entry on here, Gilberto Ramirez, all of these active fighters can add more going forward. Some of them. Uh, may get Hall of Famers added later, which will increase their score, but it can take a while. I always say don't just focus on where the modern guys are now. It's going to change a lot over the coming years. 
So fighter number 873 is Joichiro Tatsuyoshi. Fantastic little fighter he was. Joichiro Tatsuyoshi beat five world champions. Um, he had a total of 11 fights against world champions and for 98 rounds against champions. Now, Tatsuyoshi uh, beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He had two fights against Hall of Famers and fought a total of 23 rounds against Hall of Famers. And Tatsuyoshi had 10 world title fights. He did make two title defences and he fought a total of 92 title fight rounds. Now, Tatsuyoshi beat no Hall of Fame fighters and in fact he had zero fights against Hall of Famers um, throughout his career. And Joichiro Tatsuyoshi had a total of 12 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Fame fighters. Well, my cold hasn't got too bad. It's already subsiding, but it's just been a little bit of a pain a minute. In that phase where it's dying off a bit quickly, but not quick enough for me. Fighter number 872, okay, is Juan Meza. Now, Juan Meza, okay, beat two world champions. Meza had a total of five fights against world champions and fought 37 rounds against champions. Now, Juan Meza beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He did have two fights against Hall of Famers and fought a total of 18 rounds against them. And Juan Mesa, okay, comes in with a total of five world title fights. Um, he did make one title defence, and he fought a total um, of 37 title fight rounds in his career. Now, against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, okay, he actually beat no pound-for-pound pound rated fighters. Um, he did have one fight against a pound-for-pounder throughout his career. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Juan Mesa comes in with a total of nine fights overall. So I'll have a quick sequester. So Juan Mesa is in 872. Okay, so that's nine fighters down of the ten fighters on this video. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go, let's go to fight number 871. Uh, is he still the longest reigning world champion at the moment? He was at one point. I don't know if he still is. I ain't checked that for a little while. But let's go to the minimum weight champion and multi-year world champion, Thamanoon Neomtrong. Thamanoon Neomtrong, okay, or otherwise known as Knockout CP Freshmart. Okay, Freshmart is due to his connection to... Well, I won't go into that. Okay, but uh, Neomtrong, okay, has beaten four world champions in his career today. He's also had a total of five fights against world champions. And he has fought a total of 60 rounds against them. Now, Thamanoon Neomtrong, okay, has beaten no Hall of Fame fighters. He's had no fights against Hall of Famers so far, and he has fought no rounds against Hall of Famers so far. And Neom Trong, okay, comes in with a large total already of 12 world title fights. Neom Trong has made 11 title defences in his multi-year title reign, um, and Thamanu Neom Trong fought 117 title fight rounds. Now, Thamanoon Neomtrong has beaten no pound pound rated fighters and he has had no fights against pound pound rated fighters. And Thamanoon Neomtrong has a total of eight fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. But here's a guy who's had nearly double figures in fights against rated fighters, champions, Hall of Famers. He's had a dozen world title fights, 11 title defences, four world champions. But no one talks about him being pound pound, even though they insist other fighters must be there. You see, it's all a bit strange. But anyway... I won't talk about that in this video. There's my latest video. I'm out for now.